and say hi to mommy for me. Uh, have a good time. Uh, I'll speak to you. We should yeah. be invoicing you for yeah, sending sure. messages to your friends. Right, right. Yeah? yeah. Uh, but time now for us to check out what's making headlines in the newspapers. Uh, I've got the Daily Graphic newspaper front page of the graphic. President Kufo, Kofi Annan, others salute Buhari. Use Easter to promote unity, says the clergy. It comes with a picture of the Most Reverend Professor Emmanuel Asante, the presiding bishop, Methodist Church, and three Danube fugitives arrested. Also, MPP makes U-turn over affirmative action. Uh, three of some of the uh, members of parliament, very beautiful, Irina Toshiado, MP for Tema West, Esla Ekofu, MP for Abrekuma West, and Gifty Klenam, MP for Lower West Achim, featured on the front page of the paper. How would they be feeling right now? Uh, back page of the Daily Graphic, <coughs> commercial production of gas begins after completion of Western Corridor gas projects. But for most of us, this doesn't mean anything, especially when we are still experiencing doom doom sock. Okay, also police beef up security for Easter festivities. You can check out a lot more stories in the Daily Graphic newspaper. You can grab a copy. Well, we have front page of the Daily Guide. The stories there. MPP beats retreats over all girls, MPs. And you have a picture there of, I'm proud of my husband, a very beautiful Aisha Buhari. That's somebody's wife. Stop that. Yeah, sure. I'm not. I said a woman fine. I didn't say that. Uh, the, what kind of talk is that? Uh, police grab a flower jailbreakers, and you have a picture there of the jailbreakers. And look at their faces. All right. Uh, back page. Nothing there. And so those are the stories we have on the front page of the Daily Guide. Mm. All right, and I've got the Ghanaian Times newspaper, front page of the Times, uh, Denu Police Station jailbreak, three escapees grabbed. Uh, there's a picture of the Volta Regional Police Commander on the front page of the paper. So ECOWAS Chairman, President Mahama, world leaders congratulate Nigeria President elect two ex cons nabbed for robbing nursing mother at gun points and pp makes u turn on controversial affirmative action policy uh, and there is a note uh, for readers of the paper so friday and monday there will not be any Ghanaian times okay back page of the times new mining minerals law would deal with gallum uh, and cotton development authority board inaugurated so it says the minister of food and agriculture fifi quete has inaugurated a nine member board of the cotton development authority and uh, how much of cotton do we produce in ghana mm, i don't know it's, a, it's not a popular i know I, I don't know maybe it is but it's been silent i'm just thinking that you know if we have a a whole authority dedicated for it then we must be producing a lot we'll be checking out uh, on that could also be sharing the details to, with you um, beef up our production mm -hmm. not necessarily because we produce a lot because when you go to the north I guess uh, cotton could be doing very well there yeah mm -hmm. okay there's also a story in the center spread of the paper business picking up in Accra which part uh, of Accra? activities of the Mamo central business away. district of Accra okay. are gradually picking up just a day away from the Easter festivities traders mounted loudspeakers from which gospel tunes blurred in anticipation of a fruitful business day ahead of the festivities okay that's it for the daily no this is the Ghanaian Times newspaper <laughs> Okay, so uh, we also have on the front page of the Al Haj newspaper Amidu Saad, despite profuse apology to males. Uh, we also have uh, Will, a 73 year old, emerge as Ghana's president in 2017. Can IMF save President Bahama? Is a question being asked. Nigerians reject President Goodluck Jonathan. And back page, we have, of course, the best player on the planet right now in England. Is that? And in Hazard, See, you don't, even, you don't even have confidence. Like you're, you can you? boldly say it. Who told you? When I asked you. <laughs> oh, I just boldly I said oh, the no, best no, no. player that on the continent in England. <laughs> you see how I said it on a continent? It's, uh, it's not easy, man. Eden Hazard, uh, admit tiredness. But don't worry, if you're tired, I will play you this weekend. Whether you're tired. Look, the gentleman is our best player, Chelsea. We'll say Chelsea. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, two court stories in the Ghanaian Times that I have to share with you. 
uh, the sodomy victims that testify. You uh, are aware of this issue, the father of the alleged sodomized victim testified before an Accra Circuit Court yesterday in the case of Dr. Ali Sile Gabas, uh, the medical practitioner at the Fionkwanta Hospital in Takrade. The witness was the fifth prosecution witness and the case which was later uh, uh, and then the case was later adjourned to April 10, okay. Uh, also, Simbox fraud case adjourned to April 20. The cross-examination of the per first prosecution witness in the case of alleged Simbox fraud involving Dr. Alexander Kofi Chenebua, former boss of the Ghana Real Estate Development Association, ended yesterday. The courts uh, presided over by Efia Sewa Asari Botri adjourned the case to April 20. For the next prosecution witness to appear before it to testify so just some quick updates on two court issues uh, that we have for you in the Ghanaian times mm. newspaper have you done the chronicle no i haven't okay uh, we, we, we do this one maritime transport and digest imo legal committee to hold um 102nd session in april we have a picture there of um director general of the ghana shippers authority and Dr. Kofi Mbwa in Bia there. We have uh, CILT to maintain high standards. That's the Chartered Institute of Logistics and Transport says it's, it's setting the highest standard of professional practice through education. And uh, they hope that all this could ensure uh, a speedy uh, improvement in the industry. We have other stories on the front page of the Maritime and Transport Digest. Mm. All right. Let me do the Chronicle newspaper, front page of the Chronicle, very disturbing story indeed. Cash strapped BA University faces closure. Just a bit of it for you in the newspaper on page three. It says intelligence information reached in the Chronicle has revealed that the University of Energy and Natural Resources, otherwise known as BA University, which was established by late President Mills, uh, Mills's government as part of the strategy to establish state universities in all the 10 administrative regions of the country may be closed down this April. The reason is simple. The state-run tertiary institution has cash strapped following the failure of the government to release funds needed to run the university, which is also supposed to have a satellite campus at Doma. I think are we going to leave it for it to just die mm. because of money? Uh, mm. Also, AG frees DVLA boss of rape charges. Uh, this story made headlines some time back, uh, and an update says that the Attorney General's office has directed the domestic violence and victim support units of the Ghana Police Service to discard any attempt to prosecute the Accra Regional Manager of the Driver vehicle and licensing authority mr noah tete marty who was being investigated for allegedly attempting to rape a lady in his office i remember this issue very well lady uh doing national service uh, who had reported you know of some sexual uh issues with the manager but now we're told that uh, the committee set up to look into the matter say there's no merit in it and blood of jesus flows at uh atria mountains is it like chia mountains atria atria mountains uh, so okay. hey our director, is just our our director patrick gomez says atria okay yeah. has so he it, been there before i know if we were wrong then he's the wrong he pronounced the <laughs> Christians believe that it was through the shedding of the blood of Jesus uh, Christ on Mount Calvary in the present day Israel that saved mankind from destruction. The blood paved way for the forgiveness and brought man closer to God. Okay, so that we know according to the book of Hebrews. Okay, it takes us on and on and on and on and on, but where is what I want to get? But essentially, there's a tree uh, that is bringing out some form of liquid. And the people in the area believe that it is the blood of Jesus that's flowing out of this tree. You can read uh, the full story in the Chronicle newspaper. That will be it for the paper, Roland. And that will be it for the newspapers we have in the studio. As always, please make sure you get interactive on our page on Facebook, Join News on TV, and also the handle we have on Twitter, Join News on TV. Okay, so you know this uh, tree that is bringing this blood uh, also leads me to share the story with you that I, you know, I just just <laughs> on I, I kept looking at it. I thought, okay, let me share it. Girl born with elephant trunk 
deformity is worshipped like a god in India. Uh, and you would see it pretty shortly Elephant on the screen. Mm -hmm. Well, you look at it and see what you make of it. Uh, but it says that a baby girl born on March 26 mm -hmm. with a facial deformity is being worshipped in India like a god. Villages right. near Aligar, Uta Pradesh in India have flocked to see the divine girl with a deformity uh, <laughs> How did you pronounce that name? an elephant shrank in the belief she is an incarnation of the elephant headed god. Oh, okay. How do you pronounce that name? Which one is that? You said the state, uh, something, something. Uttar Pradesh? No, no Uttar Pradesh. Is <laughs> okay, we're calling an India on the line uh, to authenticate the pronunciation for us. So yeah. we have on the line. Uh, can't. <laughs> oh, he's kidding. Okay, yeah, so that will be it for the newspapers yeah. and weird stories, if mm. you like. Okay, before we, we, we go, though, and we have to do sports next, that's what we're doing next. Um, according to a UN report, uh, more than 25,000 foreign fighters have traveled to join militant groups such as. Al Qaeda and ISIS to fight. An expert has said that the flow of foreign fighters is higher than it has ever been in the world historically. And the fighters from at least 100 countries, and I, I know that one of them is not Ghana, have traveled to areas such as Iraq, Syria, Libya, and Pakistan. The reason why I say one of them is not Ghana, Ghana is through your We're afraid to fight. That's the point. All right, so we'll bring you a lot more updates uh, from a lot more news portals as and when we get them. Hey, this, this is strange. You know, yesterday I was saying that I, the one person I want to hear from in Nigeria is Patience Jonathan, Mr. Good Luck Jonathan's <laughs> wife. And here she is calling on Nigerian women to support Mrs. Buhari. Oh. That's a good call, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, cute. isn't it the, the uh, analog president is asking people to support? <laughs> Give the woman a break. Oh, my God. It, no, was, this is it, was, good. it, was, it was in the midst of campaigning. <laughs> yeah? But the current first lady is just wow. Oh, give us a break. Wow. Just wow. Mrs. Patience Jonathan looks good, too. Mm. And this is a new... Or the incoming first lady, Aisha Buhari. You can see her there. Wow. All right. Okay. So enough of interesting stories sharing here on the show. We'll have to make way uh, for Mixie to bring us Sports with Barbara Tando here on the AM show. If you've got anything to share with us. Uh, we're interested in knowing your Easter plans as well because on, today, on the show today we're going to be sharing with you some Easter destinations. Mm. Uh, you saw Kwewu, there's Koko Bito as well, a lot more names to come, come up and places that you can go to have a good holiday here on the show. Stay with us.